Yo, what's happening out there guys? It's Real Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the solo money glitch workaround. All right, we finally have a workaround for it. Everybody can make a lot more money and it's still pretty simple to do. Let's get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Okay, so as always, the founders of this glitch will be put down in the description. I'm not sure who the workaround founder is, but I'll just link the thread in the description. Go, so go check those guys out. People take a while to find glitches. Now, what you're going to need for this is a CEO office. It's mostly all the same stuff as before. The CEO office, any one of them will work. Office garages, a mod shop in the office garage, and a Benny's car to dupe. All right, LG Retro Custom sells for the most. I saw some people talking and saying that, you know, you can dupe supercars and sports cars. Yes, that's true. You can dupe them once and sell the original but all the dupes don't sell. You can't sell them. You'll get a message saying vehicle is 50,000 uh, or exceeds $50,000, okay? Or they just won't sell for much at all. Okay, so Benny's cars are the ones to dupe. Now, you need a custom plate on it for this method and you need now a special vehicle, okay? So it's we're not using a Deluxe or an Oppressor anymore. You need the special vehicle warehouse and you need some sort of special vehicle in there. All right, the Wastelander, you know, there's a few different ones that you can buy. The Wastelander is the cheapest one, but that's what you need now. And also, some of you still might have the problem where the car doesn't spawn outside. If that's the case, then you do need a Lester Heist text, okay? So that's still going on as well. Now, we're going to go ahead and start it off right here, and I'm going to show you the workaround. So what you're going to go ahead and do is open up your phone, go to Play Quick Job, go to the Doomsday Heist, hit it alone, and are you sure? Now you're going to wait for it to say populating lobby and you can do this. I did this in an invite only and it worked first try. You can do this in a public session. It's totally up to you, but you're going to see right here. And I'm going to go into slow motion. Once you see it say populating lobby, you need to be fast. Okay. So look, populating lobby and there we go. Quickly press pause, go over to your store, PlayStation store or Xbox store. All right, and just literally launch it as quick as you can, okay? So you see now I've launched into the PlayStation Store, Xbox, you'd launch into the Xbox Store, okay? Once you're in there, I'd say wait in here for about 10 seconds or so. I think I waited like 10 or 15 seconds, but I think even five to 10 seconds would probably be good. You just don't wanna quickly go in here and then back out. All right, so once you get backed out, open up your pause or open up your interaction menu, go to the style, and you should see you cannot access this menu while on a mission. If that's the case, you have successfully hit the glitch. Well, the first part of the glitch, I should say, but that is the first big part of the workaround, okay? Now, once you're all glitched out, you want to go ahead and head to your office, okay? Now, I probably recommend also having a buzzard or some sort of helicopter that you can call through your Pegasus vehicle at the concierge, you know, through your assistant. And this is why we're going to have to fly over to our special vehicle warehouse. So I'm going to hit right D-pad and I'm going to go ahead and call up for my buzzer. All right. Now, this will be the quickest way. Reason being, since most of us have the cheap special vehicle warehouse, which is one point five million dollars, that's the cheapest one there is. That's across the map. So you definitely want to be flying back and forth. Flying will, you know, cut down the time considerably. Driving a car or a streetcar or something like that, that will take freaking forever. OK, so. I'm taking my buzzard over to my SVW where I have a special vehicle in there already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and park right over here in front and I'm just gonna run in. Okay, now like I said before, you have a few different options. The Wastelander I think is around 500 grand. That's probably the cheapest special vehicle that you can buy. You have things like the Blazer Aqua I think is the next most expensive or the, the least expensive I should say. I think it's around 1.2 million or something. And then everything else is pretty much a little bit higher than that. You have the Technical Aqua, then you got the Ruiner, the Rocket Voltec, the Phantom Wedge, all those go for a good amount. The Armored Boxville, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and run downstairs and go into my SVW. And once I'm in there, you just need to grab one of these special vehicles and pull them out. Those of you with retros like I have here, the retros are bricked because of an old patch, so you can't even drive those out. You must have a special vehicle, a legit one. This is the Technical Aqua. Uh, you can use whatever you want, whatever you have in there. Just simply drive it out. 
Once you drive it out, you will notice that it immediately it will go invisible and you'll just be on your feet. Just like that, okay? That's the new way of doing it. We're not getting glitched out with oppressors or deluxos anymore. You must use a special vehicle at this moment, okay? So go ahead and hop back into the helicopter that you used to get there, and we're just going to simply fly back over to the CEO office. Like I said, this is the quickest method to do this. You definitely want to be flying back and forth in a helicopter as opposed to driving a car, okay? And you can land on the roof or you can land in the, uh, you know, down on the street and just walk in. It's all up to you. But once you're back in there, you want to go ahead and just enter the office garage that we have our car that we're going to be duping, okay? So, like I said before, remember, we're we're replacing over free elegies, okay, like in the previous glitches. So, you want to make sure you have your Benny's car that you're duping in the CEO garage, plus a bunch of free elegies to dupe over, okay? Not sure if I said that in the beginning, but those of you that have been doing this solo dupe, you know how it is, all right? So, I'm in here, I have my Benny's car, and I have a few elegies that I'm going to be riding over. And this retro custom has a custom plate on it already. You want to start off with a custom plate, okay? So go ahead and hit right D-pad and enter the mod shop, all right? So once you're in the mod shop, you just need to modify anything on the vehicle. Any little modification will do. Easy thing to do is go over to the plate options. Once you're at the plates, go to license and just change the color of the plate. Make sure you have a custom plate on it, okay? So at this point, just back out of all these menus and hit exit vehicle. Once you've hit exit vehicle, you want to go ahead and get back in. And no need to spam or anything, just hit right D-pad, nice and cool, and you will glitch out and it will take you right back into the CEO garage. Once that has happened, you will have the dupe right there, okay? So you're actually in the dupe, the original car is the other one that's all like crazy on top or, you know, it might look different in your garage. But uh, yeah, so once you've done that, you want to go ahead and just hit on, you will go over to the elevator and select office, okay? So this is where it could vary from certain people. When I'm on PS4, it's always different than when I'm on Xbox, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So once you go to the office, you want to go ahead and just turn around, go back to the elevator, and you want to hit exit to ground, okay? So we're going to hit exit to ground right here, and we're going to go outside. So when I'm on Xbox, my car always spawns outside, but I'm also using Arcadius on Xbox. But on PlayStation, I'm using Maze Bank West. My car always spawns, like the car icon is in the CEO garage, all right, like under the map. And you can see right here, you see that right there? The car is not out on the street. It's like glitched in the CEO garage. So if this happens to you, you have to use a Lester Heist Tex, okay? So once you, you know, once you realize that you're not gonna be able to grab your car easily, pick any one of these Lester Heist Techs, the green or the blue one. On PlayStation, the blue one works best for me, but you can use whichever one works for you, okay? So once I've launched that, it's gonna spawn me over at the facility. I just simply need to walk out and the car should be outside. Now. For people that are wondering, you can't start up a job, or you could, you know, go to a blue circle and start up a job or tighten up a job and it'll spawn next to you, but it unglitches the style option, so you have to do the beginning part again. So now that I'm in my dupe right here that spawned outside, I'm just going to drive back over to my CEO garage, and I'm going to drive it back into garage two. That is the full garage where I have the LGs that I'm going to replace over and the car that I duped, basically. So you want to make sure that that garage is full as well. So... Once I go back in, I'm just going to select to replace over one of these free elegies, and there we go. I've created a dupe, all right? Now, if you want to rinse and repeat, and by the way, that's a clean duplicate. Those of you that are wondering, custom plates are clean, guys. That's why I always do dupe glitches with custom plates. So make sure that your style option is still grayed out. That means that you're still glitched, and you can go ahead and do the glitch once more. Or well, over and over again, really. Just don't start up any jobs. That will unglitch you. So to rinse and repeat... Go grab a buzzard or any helicopter, fly it over to the SVW. Once you get over to the SVW, Special Vehicle Warehouse for those of you that don't know, uh, you want to go ahead and take out any special vehicle, drive it out, it'll go invisible, get back into your helicopter, fly back to the CEO garage, go back to Office Garage, whichever one you're using, get in your LG Retro Custom, go in the mod shop, modify something, exit vehicle, get back in and press right D-pad. You'll have the dupes. You want to go over to the office, then you want to go ahead and hit exit to ground, car should be outside if it's not outside you need a lester heist text like me i'm gonna go ahead and launch that run back outside and the car should be waiting outside for me okay you can take a cargo bob back you know and pick it up whatever you want to do or drive back so once i'm back i'm just gonna go ahead and go back into that same office garage and once i'm in this the office garage it's gonna ask me that i need to replace a vehicle that's totally okay i have free elegies in there to replace over 
So there we go. I'm going to replace over this free Elegy, and that's how you rinse and repeat, and you can keep doing this over and over again. Like I said, if you want to stay glitched out, your style option, so you don't have to do the quick job method over and over again, just make sure you don't start up any contact missions or anything like that from the pause menu, and don't start up a mission from any blue circle, and you should be good, okay? And for those of you, like I said, custom plates are good. I always dupe with custom plates, even if I'm not sure. Unless I know for sure it's a merge glitch and I'm going to get a fresh plate, I'm always duping with a custom plate. Custom plates are safe, alright? That's what we've always used to bypass anything else, okay? So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a great day.